Well, hey everybody, Joy and Betty Blue here. <laughs> I'm taking Betty Blue home with me because I like her better than my squished up Pinky. Pinky's the one where we wrap tape all around me and um, the stuffing in her has just settled everywhere and she's just ugly and <laughs> nothing looks like it used to look. So anyway, I'm taking this one home with me. <laughs> So this is Betty Blue. You sit over there, Betty. My house is no longer a home. It's just a house. It is a horrible mess. The guys are on their way with empty trailers. So we will be loading both of those empty trailers. I've got boxes, boxes everywhere. I don't know if the camera can see over here. Can you see over here? Let me get the camera off and show you. I want to show you what I designed. Other than a humongous mess everywhere, I am talking mess. Mess, mess, mess. You can see the great big desk my Solaris was on. Some people bought it from Kingfisher. Kingfisher is where Jerry's mother-in-law was. Remember, I took care of her house after she died, and I got it all cleaned out and sold. And there's a place there called the Upper Room. Well, they came and got that desk, and while they were here, I said, Would you please, please, please take the red couch to the Upper Room? And they were very, very sweet, and they did. So... This is what I have set up for our kitchen table now. My sewing chairs. Actually, I'm one short because I've got me and Jerry and John and the baby. So I need one more chair. Oh, my God. Oh, goodness. I've got one right there. Okay. So I've got to have one more chair and one more place mat. But isn't that table nice? That thing weighs about 200,000 pounds. I have no idea. Number one, how we'll ever... Get it out of this house, never mind, up the stairs and into my other house. I don't think it's even possible. I've got one of these little tables all shrunken down into its smallest size. It was like that. Now it's like that. Those two tables are going to Lauren. I didn't even empty the drawers. <laughs> the two recliners are going to John and Lauren's. <sighs> The uh, cutting table, that one's going to Terry. The cutting table in the back is going to Lauren. Um, the jewelry chest is going to my granddaughter, Lindy. Here's another load to Goodwill. I have been to Goodwill, oh my gosh, 20 times. With my car completely, completely full. This is the back bedroom. That used to have the crib in it for Luke. And now it's just a work area full of a thousand more bags. So, and the reason, why are you using bags instead of boxes? What's wrong with your brain? Um, the reason I'm using bags instead of boxes is because I can lift the bags. The boxes, I have to get down on my knees and push across the floor. And the bags can sit in the trailer, and they're not going to go anywhere. The trailer's enclosed. Here's another big stack of boxes. Look at my living room. Oh, it's empty. <laughs> The blue recliner is going to my granddaughter Lindy today. The table is going to the Goodwill. Nobody wants it, and I love this picture. Jerry wants it in his office, but I don't know that we can put it in there. Let me see if I can let you see what the picture is. There is a sign right here. See, it says Pharmacy 8th, S, 8th, N, or something like that. St. Anne? I don't know. Pharmacy Sweet Ann. It's S-T-E, Ann. So we bought this picture because Jerry's a pharmacist, and so we really love it. So we're going to try to fit that into our house somewhere. And the birds, the bird sculpture up there, we're leaving it here. I asked Lauren if she'd like to have it, and she said yes, she would, so we're leaving it. All that patio furniture out there, thank God they want that. And my poor kitchen. Kitchen table's gone. Philly got the kitchen table and eight chairs, more boxes, things I'm going to take home and do God knows what with. <laughs> anyway, and here's the sign. I'm leaving little signs everywhere that I changed the air filters to 120. And then I'm leaving them a whole bunch of air filters that I just bought recently. So that'll be nice for them. I've got to take these curtains down. Those are going to the trash. And there's another picture I love. I love. You know, I had two daughters. You wouldn't know it now, but I really did. Jerry had one and I had one. And that's about how big they were when Jerry and I got married. So I love that picture. And I don't know if I have any place for it now. Okay, so that's my status, Gladys. <laughs> 
Here's the back of Betty Blue. I guarantee you I don't look like that in the back. <laughs> oh, yes. I used to have a 25-inch waist, ladies. And that's when I was in my 30s. And I used to think I was fat, and I thought I should have an 18-inch waist. I was so, so ignorant when we're young, aren't we? So now I'd be really excited if I had a 32-inch waist. <laughs> Let me turn the visor around. Yeah, I'd be real excited. Okay, the quilt sold. The roses in my window sold to a lady named Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. I sent you an email this morning. Um, I can't mail it from here. Uh, everything is just such a mess and I don't have time to go find a box and go to the post office. So we'll be going home to Kingston tomorrow or the next day. And when time permits, I will get it packed really nice and get it shipped to you, okay? So it seemed like there was something else I needed to tell you guys. There is something else I need to tell you, but it's such a sad, sad, hard thing to talk about but I think I need to um, some of you not a lot of you some of you know a person I'm related to who has a business having to do with yarn I don't dare name the business or dare name the person but if you care about me I beg you please don't ever ever leave a comment referring to me or anything I said. Please, please don't ever leave a comment on Etsy or whatever other platform that person has. Just believe me, it would mean a whole lot to me if you wouldn't do that. So, other than that, I can't go into detail, I'm sorry. Um, other than that, I need to get my rear end gear and I need to finish packing up all the other stuff in this house. <laughs> I've been through, you probably saw when I went through the kitchen, there's little purple X's on some of the cupboards <laughs> and there's tape on some things. Some of the tape says empties and I thought, I got tired of ripping off tape and writing empty on it. So I started just putting little purple X's on the doors. <laughs> there's so many drawers in the house and so many cupboards. Okay, you guys, I miss you. I want to so, so badly. Philly made a blouse the other day and showed it to me. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to get back to sewing again. It may be months. It may be months. You know, everything I put in a box has to come out of the box. <laughs> yes, you like the sweat dripping off my lip? I really do need to get new lights. <laughs> and I'm not going to deal with that right now. I'll deal with that later. Okay, today is the big day. We had to pay $600 for the inspection, you know, in the contract where you sell a house. And we had to pay $600 for the inspection of this house. And the inspector's showing up at 3 o'clock today. So I thought I better at least make a path going through the house so the inspector doesn't trip and break his neck. And <laughs> What's the things that have been happening to me lately? I probably should take some bubble wrap and wrap it around him at the front door. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to let y'all go. I love you, and I miss you, and please come back again when I'm back to my normal life, okay? I'll try to make a normal video sometime soon, but bye for now.